Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Millman Family. We are here at their house. Uh, half a house, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we were in the process of building this in the end of the last episode, so we're going to pick up with that. And I know for some of you who may not like building, I do really apologize because this is probably going to be mostly building in this episode, not, like, playing or anything. Anyways, because, um... I don't even know what episode number are we even on is it supposed to be a building episode nobody knows let's see we're on 25 episode all right so anyway so we're pretty much just going to be building but i do want to go ahead and quickly um i want to see the baby um anyways i want to do this as quickly as possible i don't want to spend as much time so there may be built um play at the end i'm not really sure it depends on how far we can go with and with how much money we have so here we go jumping back into build mode we were on in the process of building this house and i don't remember if i was really going off a of plan or anything because i kind of see something kind of like it in my plans but not the same um so i'm not really sure what we were going for here but anyways we're just gonna stick with you know something stick with it all right let's see i want to do what kind of a house theme was i going for here i don't even know um i want to do columns to put a roof over this because i don't i want the floor upstairs to be a little bit bigger but I don't really know what would match that door, so that's what we're going to find. Hold on. Let's see. I should probably turn music off, actually, because it's going to get really loud. I just turned it back on, too. So it's going to be like, what? You're turning me back off? Yes. Anyways, okay, there we go. So let's see. This one's kind of cool, though. I kind of like this one. I think we're going to go with this. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to change the theme really because I think the outside of the house will probably be like woodsy themed I don't know we may change the color of the door to be honest because I don't know we could do white and it would match that so that would be good all right let's pull another one out and I'm gonna place it right what the heck oh he's in the way okay we got to turn move objects on hold on uh that did not come out right did it There we go. All right, so there we go. There's the next column. And then let's see. Hmm. I was thinking of doing the wood that color, so I don't know if we can do that, but I can try. Um, let's see if we can pull this color here onto the wood. Let's just see. I just want to pull the color scheme. Uh, I love the owl in it. I think it's really cute. If you guys can't see the owl, let me zoom in for you just for just a second. See it? The little owl right there? I think that's really cute. So, let's see. Is this going to make it that color or what's it going to do? If I don't like it, I can always undo it. It's not that big of a deal. Maybe it's not going to do anything. <laughs> Maybe it's going to sabotage us. What inspires me. But I kind of like that color for the house, for the outside of the house. So I was kind of thinking we'll go with that color scheme. And then just keep the windows and stuff white. Because that would match as well if this turns that color. But I don't see it doing anything, to be honest with you. Okay. So, this isn't a very big lot. But I don't think we were meant to have a very big lot right now. I just want to have enough space where he can put out his uh, fire truck. Maybe we can put out a slot for Cheryl to do a car. Um, and we obviously need to do the... Oh yeah, that looks kind of cool. I like it. Alright, let's go with that. Now i got to pull this back open and hopefully it doesn't freak out. Yeah, that's perfect. Even better. All right, there we go. I like that. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's just quickly do the the wallpapering on the outside. Um, to be honest, I don't know really know what I want the outside to look like. I kind of want it to look like a woodsy theme, but like this it doesn't really look woodsy. Hmm. Hmm. 
if I could find, like, log cabin siding, like this, but without the bottoms. Actually, that doesn't look too bad, does it? I don't know what I want to do, guys. Mm, no, not that. I love this siding, but it's just like normal siding. But it does look good with the house. So let's do this. Let's pull this wood seam onto this and see what happens. See if it changes it completely or if it... Oh, I like it. I be liking it. All right, so I think we're going to go with that. Doesn't really look like the color of the door, though, does it? Weird. Weird. Fair. Very woodsy. Very woodsy. All right, I like that a lot, actually. Okay, and it covers the whole house. Sorry about that, guys. Someone chatted me on Origin. It was really crazy. Um, and it popped it down. So, let's just see. Let's just see. I want to do a fence. What was I trying to do here? No, what I want to do is I want to take this little platform thing. And I want to put it out here. You guys are going to see why in just a second. You'll see. You'll see. Um, am I going to be able to put it here and put a fence there as well? I don't think I can. And I don't think I can put it all the way out to here. So it's just to here. Alright, well let's do this. Let's take this and put it on the edge. Because you know me, I like everything to match. And then let's see. I need to pull a... I like that. Alright, and then I need to get a fencing. And the fencing I'm going to do is going to be this one. But what I want to do is I want to match it to the house. But I think it's going to go wonky if I try to do it with this. Um, yeah, see, so it's going to go up there. Mm. Well, I could... Hmm. What do I want to do? Um, if I did this here and then I did this here, it would block off people from seeing, but it wouldn't totally enclose the backyard. Kind of like a privacy gate. Hmm. Because, see, I just think it looks weird when it goes down. Like that, I just think it looks silly. So I could do that. Do I want that? Do I not? I can't decide if I like it. So I'm going to say no to it right now and work on the inside, I guess. All right, guys, hold on just a second. Okay. So this front room is what's supposed to be the living room. And I do want it to be the living room. But I want to put a fireplace in here. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to put it here or if I want to put it here or here. I don't really want it in the front of the house, so the side or the side. Um, I think I'm going to go this side just because it's close to the road. And it's not going to get in the way of having, like, a yard for the children at one that we have. So, we're going to go this side, but i got to find out what one I want to do. I really like the looks of this one. I like the chimney. I like everything about it. But, um, I don't know if it would really work in their house very well. 
A black one would be best, I think. So let's see, can I find a black one? Is there even a black one? Well, there's this one that's just like River Rock Fireplace, which is cute. I really like it. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I don't know why they're showing up as white in here and then coming out like a different color. Weird. Okay, I think this is black. Yes, it is. All right, we're going to take this. This is my favorite fireplace of the whole game, and I just think it's so pretty. I know you guys probably can't see that, so let me get some windows going in here. Um, it's a little bit off here, isn't it? Unfortunately, because I messed it up a little bit, but hopefully it won't mess up with the house too much. All right, I'm looking for like the perfect window. No, it's too close to the floor. I want it in the middle of the wall, but I want it to be long and not too wide. I am very picky when it comes to stuff, guys. I do apologize. If you guys hate building, I swear, turn away now. <laughs> All right, this is actually really pretty. All right, we're going to go with this window. And you know what? Just because this is a little bit longer, I'm going to do a double one on that side. And I'm going to take the color from the door and pull it onto the windows. I think that would be really cute. So let's do that. Does that look good? Yeah, looks good. Okay. Because this outside is going to be white and then the inside will be like the brown color. So that's cute. I like it a lot. All right, and since it's the living room, you're going to want a lot of windows. So we're going to take this window and put it over here as well. There we go. Goes to the outside. All right, and I need to remove objects off because it's annoying. All right, so there we go. And then this is what the fireplace looks like. If you guys didn't know, it's very pretty. Pretty. All right, I want to do gray walls in here, and I know that sounds really weird but I have a reason maybe <laughs> alright let's see I want to do rocks and stone and you see that color on that right there can you take that off of there and like pull it on a wall <gasps> you can okay actually I want to make this black even knowing it's wood I want it to be black just because I, I think it'll match the room really well all right, what I want to do is I want to take this wallpapering right here, put it on the wall, and then I want to take the rock color and put it on just this wall right here. Put it here. Did it go? That doesn't look like the rocks. I am so confused. Maybe it didn't go yet. Hold on. Sometimes it does this to me because then the interface isn't back either. Okay. Well, while we sit here, let's talk about The Sims 4. I recently pre-ordered The Sims 4, the digital deluxe, and it's in my origin now. And I can preload my game on the 29th, I think it says, but I can play it on the 1st. How freaking cool is that? I am so excited. Because it doesn't come out until the 2nd, if you don't know. So, I'm, like, getting the game a few hours early. It's I think I can, like, play it at, like, 9 o'clock on the September 1st. And normally you can't play it until midnight on, like, September 2nd. So, I think that's really cool. Alright, anyways, I'm done with this fireplace. So let's get off of this. And then I want to take this. And put it on here going to put it behind the wall because that looks really nice and then with that let's just see if that light yellow that I used to base that one off of if it looks nice next to that oh yeah I do like that don't I all right and then let's do gray flooring to match the gray in the fireplace 
Plus also gray and white looks pretty, or gray and like a light yellow looks really nice together. So that's going to be our living room. I'm really excited for it. I'm kind of wondering if I should have done the fireplace on that side though, just for the fact that this side is smaller. But I want to put the TV in on the floor over here with the couch, and I'm just going to put two chairs in front of it, so I think it's good. It's plenty good. Okay. So there's the living room, and then the kitchen. I have to make sure I watch money, too, because sometimes I'll go a little crazy, and I will forget that, like, I need to uh, make sure I get all the rooms furnished and not just, like, three. <laughs> All right, let's put a window here and a window here because it's going to be where we dine. Do I want three windows? Didn't I move objects off? Probably not. Move objects off. I apologize if you guys can hear that music. It's from a car outside. There's nothing I can do. Um, it's really obnoxious and loud, and I wish they would knock it off, but they've been doing it all day long. All right, let's see. So... Here, here, and I'm thinking here. I think they're having like a party or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But it's been every, all day, so it's really obnoxious. All right, let's see. Here and here. Do I want it like that or do I want this one over a little bit? Yeah, let's do it over a little bit just so it's even on that wall for that room. I know it doesn't really make sense because that, but it does in my eyes. All right, so we need to do flooring for the kitchen, and I'm thinking wood maybe. Maybe like a grayish wood. That would be kind of cute. Um, not that. It's ugly. Um, sometimes I have to redo these colors. So let's see. Actually, white wouldn't be bad, though, either, would it? All right, let's see. Um, if I did this, what does it look like? No. Not exactly what I'm looking for, is it? Not really. Um, I don't want the floor to look run down. Ooh, I like that, though. All right, let's go with that. All right, that's nice. That That's a different color wood, so I like it. I don't really know what this room was supposed to be. What was it supposed to be? No idea, guys. I have no idea. A uh, laundry room? And this is a bathroom, maybe? I'm not really sure. Anyways, okay, let's go ahead and put wallpapering on. Now, in the kitchen, wallpapering, normally I do uh, literal wallpapering. Um or try to anyways, try to find something that I like. I love this wallpaper, but not for a kitchen. I like the ones with the fruits on it, to be honest. Um, let's see, can I find one that I like? This is the one I think I'm talking about. No, that's got flowers. That's not it either. Maybe it's under miscellaneous. Not really sure, paneling maybe. Let's try paneling. Um, <laughs> uh, this one. Nope, that's flowers too. Isn't this fruit though? Yeah, see I like this for the kitchen. I don't know why, I just really like it in my kitchen. And the kitchen is going to be, I was thinking about putting the dining table here, but now with the door there, I'm like, eh, maybe not. So maybe we'll do the kitchen on this side and have like a bar here, and then we can put a table over here. That would be cute. All right, let's do that. So let's put this on the wall for just a second. I need to recolor it. I know, me and recoloring. I am going to die when I can't recolor something, probably. So, 
it's going to be pretty bad. Unless there's really good colors and they like match them, then I'll be okay with it. But until then, I don't know. I'm a little antsy about it. I, I don't see it changing it and that's what freaks me out. Maybe you can't see this one. you got to be able to see it. Um... Hmm. I really don't see it. I don't know why this is taking so long. I don't know if it's like freezing or what it's doing. While it's doing this, I'm gonna get a drink. Um, yeah, so what I was saying is with The Sims 4, you can't recolor things on your own. Um, you don't have like that interface, whatever, that creative style. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, because, sorry about that, I had to take a drink. Um, I love being able to recreate things to match, especially like wood styles. It's one of the things that really like drives me crazy. But if they were really smart about it and they made furniture already matching, like sets of furniture really, that would be fine. I would be okay with that. Is this going or what? Man. Um. I really hope it's not like frozen because the game is still working. Oh, I think it just went. There it went. Man, it took for long, oh, so long, didn't it? I, I'm wondering if I should, instead of be pulling this on here, because I don't really know if I like that now, if I should just be color, pulling the color scheme onto it. Oh gosh, guys, this takes too long. All right, let's see. Will this change just the color of it? It will. Okay. So I might want to... All right, I'm going to put that there because I just worked hard to get that there. But I'm going to take that wood that I just did and pull it onto the other one because they were matching. And then the other one was... The, this one is the opposite direction. So let's pull this on here. Okay. And then let's take this and just... Um... I gotta pull the color scheme onto it. I don't know. Like this onto here. And I gotta just put it on this piece of wood. And then that is gonna stay its color. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Alright, so we're gonna do dark cupboards, like uh, probably black or maybe red. Um, but I wanna get this in here. Finally, it took forever to get this done. Um, let's see. Where's the kitchen going to end? Because I was talking about a counter. So I should probably do the counter about here, I would think. Alright, so there. And then from there, it would go from here over. And then we'll put this. Okay, we'll put it like that. Perfect. Alright, so that's going to be the kitchen size. It's not huge, but it's not, you know, extremely small either. And then this side will be the dining room, because we need to get a dining room in here. And I'm probably going to try and do something with this color scheme. I know, me and my colors. Um, if you guys don't know, this is my, like, to my go-to kind of paper. Um, I just love it. Um, but it's like perfect. All right, let's take this color and put it on here. I think it'll be pretty for the dining room because I'm pulling it off of that. So it makes it like the same color, makes it a cool color. I might want the wood paneling actually. Okay. I'm going to accept it just so I can get that off of there because I don't really want to go through all this again. You know what I mean? What I'm going to do though. Can I find that? Actually, why am I working so hard on this? Now let's just pull this. Not that one, this one. I got some in my eye. Is it on this one or is it on this one? I can't really tell. All right, well, we're just gonna do it this up here. See if it changes this one. No, I don't want it to do all of them. See, that's what I didn't want it to do. 
All right, X out of that because that did not work. And undo, undo, undo. All right, where is that? This? No. Because I want it to have the same bottoms. But I got to be able to find it again. And it's so hard. Especially because my eye is going blurry for some re weird reason. This one. No. This one? <laughs> yes. Okay. There we go. Alright, now. Let's see. I want to take this and change it. And I'm hoping because it's different than these ones right now, it's not going to change them all. But who knows. Yes, there we go. Alright, and change this to it. Okay, and then put this as it as well. And it should get rid of the fruit. No? It's not going to? <sighs> okay, we're going to take it and we're going to make it plain white. There we go. Phew! That's better. Okay. Now I want to take this color from right here and pull it on here. And I'm going to put it on the white piece. See, this is what I like doing. I like being able to choose my colors. And then I'm going to take this and pull it on here. And I'm going to put it on the first two. And then I'm going to take the other one and put it on the last one like it is on this one. So the top and bottoms will match, but the center piece will be a different color. So, all right, I'm gonna put this on the bottom one and then I'll click on this one and just pull it down because it'll be easier. Less time. Yes. And then let's do, I kinda like it with the brown in the middle, but that's okay, I'm not gonna, actually I'm just gonna pull this on here, it's just easier. And then put it on the second to last one and then we shall be good. All right, there we go. That's what it's going to look like for the dining room. I think it's pretty. It's a pretty bright color, but when you get furniture and stuff in here, the brightness will really settle down a little bit. All right, so we've got that. And I want to do this wall too. And I want to do this. Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right. Okay, so that is our downstairs area. Now we just got to do the bathroom, which is right here, and I do simple bathrooms. I don't really get into it too much. I mean, it's just a half bath, right? Um, so let's see. We'll just do something a little different, I think. We'll do this right here with... This. Yeah, we'll do that. There we go. Simple bathroom, nothing too spectacular. All right, now let's get a door for this bathroom right here. And I always take this door and I just recolor it. I think I might not go with this one, though. I might go with, where is it, this one here for the fact that it's already white and I'm going to want to change the color of it to white and I don't want to finagle with things. So I'm going to go with that and let's see. I really, What is this room over here? This is the washer and dryer room. So I'm going to take this archway because it doesn't need to be closed off fully and I'm going to put it right here. And then for the washer and dryer I'm just going to do like a basic room um, not, not even really any color. I'm going to do white flooring with these walls right here. Gray walls. Nothing too spectacular. Like I said, it's a washroom. You know, you don't do much in there. All right. So that is all of the wallpapering and flooring downstairs. Now let's go upstairs. And what I'm going to do is since this is already wood and I like it, I am going to pull this up here. Now this room at the front here is going to become the master room because it's going to have its own um, fireplace. It's going to be a double fireplace home. But this, this room is also going to hang over the bottom 
part of the house and be like a multi-purpose with um, a ceiling. So I think that's pretty cool. I gotta pull one of these just out here and then I need to go ahead and do walling. Okay. And then let's get rid of this one. Delete that. All right, and I need to move these back. If you noticed, it wasn't really underneath what I had had. Okay, there we go. So that's how far out it's gonna come. So this is the master bedroom. I think it's plenty big enough. And because we're going with this wood, I'm gonna stick with it for the master as well, just because I like it and I think it's pretty. We're also gonna be doing this in the baby's room as well. So I need to figure that out too. All right, so we've got that done. Now let's see. Um, this is not going to be a washroom upstairs, so I'm not going to need to keep that uncovered. Um, okay, so walling here. I don't know where you could place walling here, so the problem is the bathroom for these guys is going to be really tricky to get in here. Um, we may have to just have like a one one walkway area into it. Let's see. I want to do at least this big. So that's going to be their washroom, but the whole thing is, like I said, you're going to have to have a, you know, archway or something leading into it because they're not going to be able to walk over the stairs. It's too close. And then from there, um, we'll just do... I wanted to do a room and I'm thinking this is really tiny for room but I'm gonna put this at an angle and then this is gonna be just an upstairs hallway there we go and now let's take this and put it all over this and in here because that's their room I probably should have done another bathroom to be honest with you I could do another half bath. It wouldn't actually be that hard. Um, uh, really? No, it's going to have to be a full bath, isn't it? Because you're going to have this kid needing a full bath. There we go. It just looks so beautiful big for a full bath, but it probably won't end up being that big. Alright, and then I need to put uh, I'm going to take this wallpapering because I like it to match. I'm just going to put it up here in the hallway as well because it's just easier. And then I need to do a railing. I don't really think I like those stairs. I think I might change them. And the railing I normally do is this one. And I'm just going to match the wood on it as well. And I'm just going to pull the wood from here onto here. And I might even pull it onto the stairs and see if they copy correctly. The bad thing about this, you can't really see. Okay, let's pull this on here. Come on, get it done. Did it all change? See, it's hard to tell. We just gotta keep hope that it changed. <laughs> All right, and let's also pull these onto the stairs and see what it looks like. All right, that doesn't actually look that bad. And that's all the stair spaces? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect, so we've got all that done. Now before I continue on, let me put the wallpapering on the outside of the house, which is gonna be the same thing. I'm not gonna go too you know crazy or anything um, except for in the front this right here this I want to see if this would look nice on the front of the house will you go there uh, no I don't really like that so we're gonna leave it off all right, and then I need to pull these windows up here. And pretty much, I'm gonna match them with downstairs, but not to a T. Cause I mean, we don't have, 
we don't really have that option because they're a little bit off down there, but let's see, put that there. We'll put this here. Remember, this is the master, so they're going to want lots of lights and stuff. That did not go the right way. Neither did that one. There we go. All right, so that's good. And then we need to pull this fireplace upstairs. And it's going to go in the same spot the one is downstairs, which is right here. So there we go. They got their own fireplace in their room, which is really cool. All right. Why does it not look black? Did something change? I thought the color scheme stayed the same. I guess not. So let's see. Let's pull this on here. Okay, perfect. All right, and for this, I'm going to do, let's see, red on the walls. I think because he likes red so seems kind of proper uh, this one no that's a little too red where's the maroon one that I really like no it's not this one that one's my favorite it's not really bright red but I think it looks nice especially with the color scheme of the fur uh, fireplace so that's nice all right, so we've got that done. We've got the, you know, I gotta do. I've gotta change the color of this, not that. Um, change the color of the wood on the wallpaper, just so it matches the floor, because it looks kind of funny if you look at it. All right, let's just pull this here. There we go. It should have changed it all, but it decided not to, so we've gotta redo it all. Alright, so we want to take all that off and put all this on. There we go. So that looks fine. Alright, and then I want to put their door in, which I'm going to do a double door, like a master door. So let's see. I love this one. I love the master suite door. But I'm not sure I'm going to go with it on this, on this house. Just because it kind of looks a little smidge too fancy. Fancy pants. All right, where's another double door? There's this one from World Adventures that I never use, which is cute. If it would load up for you guys to see. I guess not. I don't know. I'm just looking for another door. I like this one as well. You know what? I'm going to go with it. I really like that door. I think it's really cute. And it goes to both sides, so it's really cute. It looks like a sliding door, but it's really not. All right, and then for the bathroom, because we're kind of doing a color scheme for that room and it's red and black, we're going to do the flooring black, which makes it very dark, I know. Um, and then the wallpapering, I'm going to do tiling like I always do, but I'm going to get a little fancy with this one. I'm going to do this wallpapering, but I'm going to take the color off of the walls from in here and put it on the white. So this color is going to go on the white blocks, hopefully. Hoping this works. All right, let's see. White blocks. Uh, no, I don't like that. It's too dark. All right. Let's go with that. And what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to take the color from this and just pull it onto the white so it matches a little bit better. Hoping this will help it look a little bit better. Okay, let's see if that looks good. I've never done this before, guys, so I don't really know if it's going to look good or not. So I do apologize if it looks hideous. But I think it'll look good. All right, so we've got that. And from there, we need a little small door to get from the bedroom to the bathroom and I'm going to use this door which is from Island Paradise I think alright man a lot is happening alright that fireplace is really close to that door is it not it's going to be right in the way all the time I bet you but if it gets in the way I will change it I promise you that 
All right, for the baby's room, we are going to go with the same door for the bathroom downstairs. And I know that sounds horrible, but it's a baby's bedroom. And then we are going to put this door. Got to move my juice. Move my juice. And this is so stupid. You should be able to place both of those doors in that spot. Whoops, that's not what I meant. Escape that. And I want to delete that. But I want to turn this one this way. So they're facing opposite directions. So the doors will open into each other. And that makes no sense in real life, but it makes sense in The Sims. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alright, so baby room. Speaking of baby rooms. Um... Let's go ahead and put windows in first off. Oh, I forgot the windows in the bathroom. Hold on. We're going to do this window. This was my plan all along. And I think it'll look, it'll work really well right there. Alright. Do I need any more windows in the master? I think it's pretty good. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. Alright. For baby's room, we've got to do windows. Not too many windows, but enough windows where it's going to look nice. And we'll do one here. And then I need to take this window here. And put it in this bathroom right there. Perfect. And then I need to take these windows again and put them over here. And since this is the living area, I will do three in a row. Just because I think that looks really nice. And it really livens up the room with light. All right. So, baby's room. Back to the baby's room. Back to the baby room. All right, let's do baby wallpapering. And I've been really getting into this lately <laughs> and really getting excited about it. Um, I don't know what she's having, so we're going to have to keep it gender neutral. But in that one house I showed you guys, I had like anchors and everything on the walls. It was so freaking cute. So, I'm going to do that kind of again here. But we're going to change it up a little bit. Alright. So for this part we want themed. We want to give a nice theme for babies. Alright. So we need to think of a theme for the room. And anchors is cute. I kind of envision that with boys more though. Cars. I've done that. That was more boyish. Um, there was whales in the one room. Which was really cute. That was another one that I did. And that was another boy. But for the girls, I did... What did I do for her? I don't think you guys saw her, but Anastasia was born. And, uh, yeah. So she got a, her own room, and I had to decorate that as well. But we're looking for a gender-themed, like a gender-neutral. So, can't be anything too specific to either gender. It's got to be kind of, you know, fluent with both. Um, we could do snowflakes. The hearts are cute, but I think of girl more. Um, I thought maybe ducks, but I don't know. Ducks is so overused in this game right now. Uh, with it being like, you know, so getting to the older ages. We could do owls. That would be cute. We could do like a green theme. I think we're going to do that actually. We're going to do like a seafoam color. You guys know me. I like seafoam. And there is my timer. I knew this was going to be a whole building episode. See? Eh. I wish it wasn't because I feel bad. Because if some of you don't like building, then you guys just sat here this whole time and waited. And it didn't ever happen to get into the gameplay. But I do apologize. And the next one, I'm not going to lie to you, is going to continue building until the house is done. So I think that could be either girl or boy. The owl is very pinkish colored, I think. We can make him even a little bit more pinky. Pinky pink. Pinkie Pop. Alright, so we got green, blue, yellow. I think it's good. Alright, so I think that's very uh, perfect. It's like perfect for a child. Now, what I need to pull off of here is I can't pull it off of the floor. And if you guys don't know why, it's because it goes the opposite direction. I want to pull this wood off of the, of the walls. And I want to put it here. I was like, why didn't it work? But it did. Never mind. Never mind. All right, so that's good. And then let's go ahead and just take that. I want to take this and put it around the room. Very cute. Very cute. All right, now we have to figure out the bed situation. 
I don't know if she's going to only have one baby or not. And I know I'm going past my time, guys. But I want to finish this room before I end. Um, oh, I wasn't doing furniture yet, was I? All right, let's just finish this room off then. And then we will start up with furnishing the house in the next one. That'll be even more fun. And then we have to do the outside. I do apologize. Um, if you guys don't like watching this, I can totally cut this all out. Oh, I don't want to do this flooring in here. All right, let's take that out. And you know what? Because this is just a... No, we'll do a different color. I was going to say, just because this is a gender, you know, neutral bathroom, everyone upstairs can use it. I would do just, you know, something. But I'll just do something from in here. Let's just do the green flooring. And for the walls... If you guys don't know me, then you don't know this, but I love this wallpaper. All right, so there is the bathroom. Is that too much? I think it might be too much. Hold on. Let's instead use this wallpaper because I love this one as well. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so that is the house. And let's see, do we have a roof on this yet? Oh, it's got a little roof. Do I like the roof? We could build a roof right now if we wanted. Uh, do I like this roof? No, not really. Okay, so let's go into, nope, stay in build mode, but I want to go back to roofs, and I want to choose a different theme. I don't mind, well, I don't think I really like the roof at all. So let's remove, let's remove the roof and put on our own. And I want to do this one. This is just a very boxy house, is it not? I don't normally build boxy, but it is kind of perfect. I wish you could put like wall or windows on that because it would look so cute. But let's see. I want to choose a different color roof. No, not that. No, not that. No. 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 Nope. Nope. I thought there was like a really nice white one, but I don't really see it. This is like the closest to white I see. Uh, I got a brown. Well, the walls are brown, so it's too much brown. But we could do... What was that one? No. This one. Yeah, let's do that. Look how cute that looks. I do want to move it up. I want to move it down a little bit. I want to make it a smaller roof. Because the house doesn't really need that big of a roof. It's like walls higher than our actual flooring. That roof was like I was tall as the house. I'm not even joking. All right, so there's that. So this is what it looks like from the front so far. We've definitely come a long way in what we've got so far. This is the side. I don't know if I'm going to put windows at the front yet because I'm not really sure if the master bedroom needs them or not. Um, but so far that's what it looks like. The back looks like this. I love the little baby room. Um, we still got to do the fencing. I got to figure out what I want to do for the fencing. I'm not really sure yet, so we'll figure it out. This is this side with the fireplace uh, chimney, and the reason, like I said, I put it over here is because, if you notice, this is the edge of the lot, right at the edge of that fireplace, so it's like perfectly placed, so you're not going to be really going on that side anyways. And then we're back to the front of the house, and I really like it so far, so I'm proud, and I like the inside a lot. I think it's really pretty, and I think it's going to look really nice. So guys, if you guys like this building uh, part of this LP, then please don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, we still got about 61,000 to furnish the house in the next episode, and um, I will try to do it faster in the next one. I think mostly what takes so long is changing the colors, but maybe what I'll do is I will pick colors and figure everything out before you guys before I get on with you guys, and then when I get on, um, we'll be able to just throw some stuff into the house and we will be good and we don't have to furnish like the baby's room or anything we can do that when the baby comes but at least like the master bedroom the upstairs hallway the bathrooms you know the kitchen the living room pretty much everything but the baby room um needs to be furnished and then we can go from there and um 
yeah, so I think it's going to be really fun. And I had a lot of fun doing this episode, even though you guys may not have loved it as much as me. Um, I'm a builder and I like to build. So I do apologize if you guys didn't like this. But anyways, guys, if you guys liked it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the very next episode. Thanks very much for watching.